Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shami. I'm in the village, I'm in Honda Valley. So the first thing that I want you to do is to tell me where you are watching my videos from. I would really appreciate and I love to know where my audiences watch my videos from. So I'm in Honda Valley, I'm in Zimbabwe. I stay in the village with my two kids and my husband. So uh, today's video is very interesting. So you need to grab your cup of water, tea, juice, whatsoever that you want to drink and watch this video until to the end because it's really very beneficial and it's very, very interesting. So we are going to talk about 10 homemaking skills that we need to learn in women to make your life very easy. I also want you to comment the second thing, your homemaking skills that you are doing wherever you are that are making your life very easy as a woman. So my number one point here in the village, I do animal keeping i do keep my own chickens for consumption of course yes i don't sell we keep them for our own consumption so in this uh, way we feed them what we really love to feed them so that we make sure that our chickens are very healthy so um, i'm doing i'm not going to condemn anyone or there's no condemnation on this video so we keep our own chickens for the sake of our health we feed them crushed maize for them to lay eggs we feed them uh sorghum millet we feed them yeah those traditional uh feeds and through, it's been uh, really going very well feeding them our own um, things that we think will make our chickens very easy and i also vaccinate my own chickens guys i use aloe vera tell me if you have got chickens at your house uh what do you use to vaccinate your chickens so if i see any chickens that is sick we just put aloe vera or we just put warm water with uh, some herbs. That's what we do because they are also beings, you know, uh, they need to be very healthy. So I usually avoid uh, store-bought chemicals to feed my chickens. We really love to consume them as healthy as possible. So when it comes to animal uh, keeping, we love it. We only have chickens at our house. So if you've got a large piece of land, consider put more of other animals that you really love to consume let's go to point number two let's talk about cooking everyone in the house let me tell you loves to eat everyone loves to eat food that is prepared in a healthful manner and which is very uh you know uh presentable very uh, good to look at you know uh what is that term that you use tell me in the comment section you know, that term that you use to describe that food that is good, like it appealing in the eyes, something like that, appetizing, of course, yes, now I know, appetizing food. So, as you can see right now, these are the tomatoes that I bought. My garden is not yet giving me some tomatoes. It's still... Um, they are still small so all these tomatoes i bought them for two dollars from uh farmers from the farmer and you know how cheap and fresh they are so when it comes to cooking we need to learn new recipe let me tell you for the family not boring recipe new and you know fresh uh, appetizing recipe we learn them especially from the internet we also learn them from the books if you don't have access to the internet let's not tire to make this home skill a necessity for ourselves as women we need to make good proper food for the family so i don't want to waste more time talking about cooking because this one you know everyone loves to eat enjoy food healthy food you know it's always um good as a uh, for us as a women as uh, as mothers to put healthy food onto the table because we are answerable if our families uh, fall sick because of the food that is not um good food that is not um you know for the family and cause them uh, to become uh, sick so we need to be very very careful on what we eat as the family then 
then the other thing that i always love to talk about is this is a skill let me tell you guys be able to babysit your own kids it's a skill that we really need to have as women some of us of course we go to work but let me tell you we really need to have time to um, babysit our children play with them of course it's another skill that we love to have as women so as you can see my garden right now is the third week and let me tell you you guys it's not it has not been easy to grow this garden from scratch so those who have been following me they know how i have started this garden you need to watch i will link all the videos in the comment in the description box please go there open it and see where i I got my seeds. I got my seeds, let me tell you, from uh, my kitchen. Um, you know, I was eating my tomatoes. I decided to take one of them, uh, use the seeds to grow my uh, my garden. And all oh, this is my ginger that I'm going to sell. Let me tell you, we also need to make use of our kids in the garden. Take them away, far, far away. Uh, from internet usually don't give them access to more hours on the internet make them their energy useful also in these homemaking skills you know they are the mothers and sisters of tomorrow they need to be very equipped when it comes to these homemaking skills grow garden with them make them uh, do some of these home skills with you it's according to the age. As you can see, she's even failing to pull up uh, the onion from the garden. Anyways, let me tell you guys, it's very good uh, to make your family happy. Be with them with your home skills. You know, make use of these home skills. Let's not forget to talk about meal planning. I love meal planning. Oh my God, I love meal planning. Since I've been making videos on this YouTube channel, I've been talking about meal planning since the beginning. It's very handy. And let me tell you, it saves a lot of time. It saves you money. It cast cost because you are not like, you know, I don't have anything to eat. So now what's for dinner? What's for breakfast? And you run to the uh, restaurant to buy food every day and healthy sometimes. So, you know, you need to make your own meal plans. The other thing that I really love to talk about is financial management. No woman you know really need to re to rely on someone else for financial management make your own financial strategy be a good steward of money of your family savings you know work on your investments stay out of debt and learn to budget properly when it comes to money of course, yes, we do not eat much, but learn that envelope system, envelope stuffing, like you need money for rent for those who rent, for those who don't rent, you know, you don't need rent, of course, you know that. Make, you know, put aside money for clothes, put aside money for your parents, you put aside money for food and make use you know if you put money aside for food you know what to buy and what not to buy because you'll be working with your budget budgeting for family is very good let me tell you you need to be a good steward when it comes to budgeting then let's talk about another skill uh baking do you love baking you can make that skill of yours very interesting baking a lot of bread so i will post those links that i've baked a lot of bread for a whole week it saves me time it's very easy no brain you know what i'm talking about we love easy life so when you bake your own bread you save your money buying uh bread with so much preservative uh so here i've got another second channel that i always love to talk about so this channel is elena's um uh, bread recipe we don't buy bread because i know here there's no fresh bread which comes this side then let's also talk about um you guys um uh, sewing, let's talk about this thing, sewing. You need to learn to mend your own clothes without spending cash. Of course, you guys, let me tell you, making your own clothes is such a hassle. And I love it from the bottom of my heart. I also turned it into a business, let me tell you. It's so in interesting. If you have a skill, if you uh, know how to make clothes, just turn it into a business. Make your clothes, mend your clothes without spending so much cash like outer these clothes for me you just outer your own clothes then uh let's talk about um 
make your own DIY uh, product, your face cleaning products using your natural detergents, make your own products maybe to do laundry, make your own products, make your own stay soft. So, but for me, I buy uh, these things because I don't have anywhere to buy, um, you know, these uh, detergents. Um, I don't know any shop as of now. Let me tell you, uh, the one that I used to buy my own things is in Harare, and I'm in Honda Valley. You know the distance traveling to go and buy those things is very costly anyway. So you need to make your own DIY products, and it's very very good. Then the other thing that I need to talk about: first aid skills. It saves much. Um. It saves lives. So I remember I have an encounter. If you watch my video, you've been following me. I have an encounter that I did with my baby. She choked uh, from water and I almost, uh, you know, I was heartbroken. But the Lord is our Savior. When the Lord says no, nobody can say yes. You guys, you know that. So I was able to... Um, pet excuse me i was able to pet my baby and she was well yeah and everything went accordingly so first aid skill and the first aid bag you watch my video i'm going to link all of them i have my first aid bag that i have bought for myself and it was very cheap i make it for myself and my family then the other thing you need to learn to repair your own things your own leak you know, you can't tell me that you can't even uh, buy a small tape for uh, to close that uh, pipe that is leaking uh, water. You know, it's a minor one. Those minor things, we need to learn to fix them. Change oil if you've got a car. Learn to, tell, you need, learn to change your own tires. Learn to check your own oil. Don't be too smart to change your own uh tires to, to look if uh, there is enough oil if there is enough water in your battery or battery acid you know let me tell you guys these things are very very handy and very good so um, our video is coming to an end but there's this thing that i cannot let go of let's talk of knit and crocheting you need to if you know how to knit and crochet make cute things for your home decor you know make your own beautiful things and you guys i will not forget to mention that i'm a tailor i make clothes i will not mention that i'm also uh, a cake a birthday cake baker so until in our next video bye